Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. down below turn on your post notifications and that way you're notified every time I post a new video so for today's video guys I am going to do a little get ready with me basically using only Frankie Rose products this isn't a sponsored video I just simply wanted to make this video for you guys doing a little get ready with me since I do post photos on my gram using just Frankie Rose products I thought it'd be cool to just make a video as well for you guys that way I can show you guys how I specifically use these products I do have a discount code for Frankie Rose cosmetics if you guys do want to save some money go ahead and use discount code Maria E let me just start off by saying that I am such a Frankie Rose cosmetics fan I freaking love their products I use Frankie Rose products almost every single day I get ready and I do love them so much so I hope you guys do love them as well if you guys already use Frankie Rose cosmetic products make sure to let me know down below in the comments let me know what is your favorite product from them but if you guys do want to see how I do achieve this look using Frankie Rose cosmetic products make sure to continue watching this video so I already did my brows off camera since my brows are actually what takes me the longest to do I am going to start off with my eyes so after I do my brows I do go to my eyes so what I do use to prime my eyes is the our little secret concealer and this one is in the shade chai so I do use chai to prime my eyes since it is actually closest to my skin color or my eye color I don't like to go too light for concealer on my eyes just because I want it to blend and look like my skin and give it a good little base for my eyeshadow I am actually going to just put this all over my lid and then do the same for the other side. I look all crazy. So I'm gonna take a little beauty blender and blend it all out. So guys, my freaking allergies has been so freaking bad. So I sound so congested. I don't know if it's because it's been windy the past two days that it's been like throwing dust or whatever it may be but damn guys i was dying last night i am going to be skipping through the steps that i don't use the products just because i do want the main focus to be frankie rose and not any other products so if you guys do see the video jumping from one scene to the next that is why i feel like shit like i feel like i was sneezing so much yesterday that my whole sinuses hurt like my eyes feel heavy because i was just non-stop sneezing as of last night i did take zyrtec so i feel like my allergies has calmed down like with the sneezing but i still feel like that pressure in my sinuses and it hurts so freaking bad so now that i went ahead and primed my eyes i am going to be going in with the pro contour palette if you guys do follow me on instagram i do mention to you guys that this palette is so universal i not only use it for contouring but i do use it for shadow as well so for today's look i am going to be going in with this palette so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the darkest shade in this palette i'm going to be laying it all over my lid I am going to go in for a softer look, a more natural look. See how this is a more soft brown color? So if you feel like it needs more color, feel free to just go in and pack it on some more until you feel like you have reached your desired color shade. And then do the same for the other side. So now that I do have it all over my lid, I'm just going to blend it out. So I'm going to go in with just a smaller brush and kind of just start blending the eyeshadow out. I did pick up a little bit more of that darker brown shade. Just basically bending it out to where it doesn't look like a harsh line. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. 
So now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade right here and basically use it as my transition shade. I'm going to lay it right above where we blend it out. That way just gives it more of like a lighter tone color right above the lid shadow. I feel like this gives it a more blended look. I feel like it also softens up the eyeshadow. And I feel like you can never go wrong with brown tones. Like ever. So now I'm going to be taking another blending brush and I'm going to be dabbing into my darkest shade once again. And then just blending out my transition shade and my lid shade together. Now that I'm actually done with my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and just curl my lashes, prep it for some mascara. Now that I already curled my lashes, I am going to be taking my mascara by Frankie Rose. This one is in VM104 Black. So it's the Mascara Vibrant Volume. So I'm actually going to just put that all over my top lashes. So now I am going to be moving on to my face. So what I am going to be using for primer is their Prime Addiction. And I did open up a new one, guys, because my old one was, like, pretty old and pretty used up. The texture is actually, like, a clear gel. It feels really good. It doesn't have an odor. It doesn't have a smell. So what I like to do is just put it on my fingertips like that. I do start right here on the side of my nose, but my main focus is actually like making sure I prime my T-zone really good. Then I work my way out, my forehead. I really like that the Frankie Rose Primer feels like a freaking moisturizer it keeps my face pretty hydrated now that i laid out my primer i am now going to be taking my matte perfection foundation i do use the shade olive so what i like to do is basically pump about like two and a half pumps onto my what do you call this like thumb area now i'm going to be taking my brush by frankie rose it is a pro concealer 105 brush and it looks like this so I'm going to just be picking up some foundation and laying it on my face basically making a whole bunch of lines I really like that the concealer brush is really really soft guys like the bristles itself it's super soft this foundation is a matte foundation so it does dry matte, but the reason why I freaking love this foundation so much is because it doesn't make my face super dry and it's long lasting. Like I can wear this foundation all day and it will still look pretty freaking good by the end of the freaking night. So now I'm going to just blend it out with the beauty blender, but I remember being in beauty school and I would have to be there for like... 10 to 12 hours in a freaking day and i knew it instantly became my favorite because i was wearing different foundations at the time but for some reason this foundation was the only one that looked so freaking good by the end of the day and i just always result going back to it like i'll try other foundations but i can't find no other foundations that i love more than freaky rose foundations and I'm not just saying that because I'm affiliated with them. I love working so much with Frankie Rose just because the products are so amazing. And it's not something that I not use when I'm getting ready. I literally use their products every single time I get ready. This foundation is full coverage, but you can also build up your coverage. So like, let's say this is the first layer I'm doing. Normally for nighttime, I will do a second layer. That way it can just give me a more full glam look. But during the day, it's hot. I ain't trying to have my face melt away or my makeup melt away. So I do stick to doing just the one layer. And 
it's good enough i feel like it hides my imperfections pretty freaking good it gets rid of like the redness i have on my face it feels good i feel like my skin can still breathe with it I'm going to go again with their, our little secret concealer. The shade that I do use to highlight my face is neutral. For this, I do like to go in with a more lighter shade color. Just because when you highlight your face, those are the points in your face where you want to go in lighter so it can bring out and just give you a more brighter look. So neutral is the shade that I go with for highlighting. I'm going to be taking my blender once again. Just blending it on my chin above is it cupid's bow cupid cupid bow cupid's bow i never figured that out let me know down below in the comments is it cupid's bow or cupid's bows or something like that but i go above there my nose and then i do go with the x's around my forehead or above my forehead and then under my eyes and then around my temples and then I bring it downward into the bottom of my nose You see how instantly it just brightened up like my under eyes, my chin area, my bridge of my nose and above my forehead. Now that I went ahead and finished up with highlighting my face, this is a moment when I'm going to be taking my contour palette and it's the pro contour palette once again. So first guys, I do go in with this lighter shade right here and then after I'll go in with a darker shade to just add more dimension to my face. Go ahead and just tap in to that lighter shade of bronzer, dark contour my face. I do start at my cheek. See how that contour is more like a subtle contour? I do go in with a darker shade to just give it more of a dimension look. I like to just add a little bit more dimension because I like my face to look super bronze. And then my forehead area. I just feel like for the summer guys, I don't know why, like I just like to look super tan. Well, I'm already tan, I've been swimming so much, so I kind of have to bronze up my face a lot. Literally, my tan has been pretty freaking darker than what my skin tone normally is. You guys have been seeing it and you guys have been loving it, so you guys have actually been complimenting me a lot. So now I'm gonna take this into my jawline and contour my jaw. So now I'm actually going to be contouring my nose with that same light shade. So if you don't like your face looking super bronze, then I would just leave it as is. I am actually going to go in with the darker shade now and just add a little bit more dimension, not too much. You see like the difference it kind of made? You see how this is more like a deeper contour? I do like to start off just by putting it like towards the ear to the forehead try not to pick up so much color just because you don't want it to look too dark a little goes a long way with products you could always build the color up but you see how automatically that's giving me a more looking face so now that I laid that down guys I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face real quick and I'll see you guys shortly after for lashes I am actually gonna go in with total babe they do have boss babe and they do have total babe boss babe is a little bit more on the natural side which has total babe is more of their dramatic lash it is pretty natural as well but it still has a more dramatic effect compared to like the boss babe lashes and this is what it looks like you know like when your sinus is super hurt and just feel out of it that is me like i don't want to feel like this <laughs> i hate allergies guys i never even used to have allergies before but ever since 
right before I got pregnant with Damien, I was actually pregnant with triplets. After that, I developed such a great sense of smell and my allergies, oh my god. Like, that's when my allergies started getting bad. So I developed a great sense of smell, which I totally hate, and then I got allergies out of that. I went ahead and put glue on my lashes. I can't really talk when I'm actually putting on lashes, so I'm gonna be kind of quiet. I have to concentrate for this. <laughs> But see how pretty they look? I totally prefer Total Babe over Boss Babe. But I like more the dramatic lash effect anyways. But if you really like natural looking lashes, I would go with Boss Babe. I feel like lashes always give you like the cherry on top look. I am actually going to go in and do the bottom of my eye. So I am going to go in with a darker shade. Kind of connecting it to the top eyeshadow. I'm gonna take in another brush and get the lighter shade, the one right before the dark one, and kind of just blend all the bottom out together to just let it flow. So now I'm actually going to be picking up this color right here. It is like a highlight shade, so I'm gonna place it on the inner corner. Now for my bottom lashes, I am going to go in with the Vibrant Volume Mascara once again. Okay guys, so I went ahead and lined my lips, but before I actually go in to top off my look with some lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and take my highlight palette. So this is called the 3 Shade Highlight. And it is a palette that comes in different shades of highlight. I do go for the gold look when I have more like a brown lip. But because my lip is going to be more of a pink undertone, I am going to go in with this highlight right here. It's pink with a touch of gold, guys. It's so freaking bomb, which you'll see right now. So I'm going to start off by putting it on the bottom of my chin. The tip of my nose. cheek bone and I do bring it up to my temple move on to the other side bring it up to my temple see how beautiful I look I'm going to be taking a thinner smaller brush for the bridge of my nose and for my brow bone this highlight works so freaking bomb guys it's so pretty now for my lips guys i'm going to be taking bittersweet this is actually a matte lipstick i went ahead and actually did my lip liner so i'm gonna go ahead and put my liquid lip next it's such a pretty pink nude And I love that their lipstick products is not over drying. It is a liquid matte lip, but it goes on so freaking smooth. It literally feels like butter on your lip. If you like the matte look, I would suggest just stopping there. But I am going to be topping off my look with a gloss. And today for gloss, I am going to be using sugar. And I'm going to just top it with sugar. It 
it still keeps it the same color. It just gives it a gloss effect. And voila guys, this is my look. I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair real quick and I'll be right back. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what was your favorite product or if you guys already do use their products, let me know down below what is your favorite. But that concludes today's video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And before I do completely end this video, my post notification shout out and the winner to my $100 worth plus, wait, $100 plus worth of makeup goes to Brianna LC. So shout out to you, girl. And for today's video, guys, I am giving another $100 plus worth of makeup. So if you guys want to be my next winner and post notification shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, have your post notifications on, hit the little bell, and comment down below showing some love. And don't forget to leave your email address. That way I can reach out to you if you are my next winner. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.